this week's all new edition of Miami Proud celebrates Earth Day. Tucked away at Zoo Miami in an area not open to guests is a World War II era bunker that's been turned into a lab for butterfly conservation and education. You see the kids enjoying it right there. It is a story you will see first right here on CBS 4. Uh, CBS 4 anchor Carly Burnett with this unique program and how you can be a part of it. These are the Atala hair streak butterflies. They have red abdomens, black wings with blue spots on them that are iridescent. That's just one of the species of butterflies and moths under the delicate care of Tiffany Moore at Zoo Miami. The giant swallowtails, Florida dusky wing, or any of like the butterflies that eat the passion vine, zebra longwing, Julia, or gofritillaries. Here in the Pine Rocklands surrounding the zoo, there used to be a naval air station. For decades, this bunker was derelict until the zoo staff took a cue from the butterfly species and transformed it. We converted the bunker into a laboratory. We have um, solar panels, two small wind turbines, and a rain barrel. So this is a lab that is completely um, sustainable and so it's very peaceful. For over two years, she's been studying Florida's native butterflies to protect them and raise awareness on how significant they are beyond their beauty. Butterflies have a huge role in pollination, as many people know. Some of these species haven't really been looked at since the 1800s. In here, we have the faithful beauty caterpillar. Outside the lab, she grows the native plants each species needs. Think of it as a buffet for butterflies. This is the Atala Hair Street caterpillars. There's a bunch of them eating the kunti here. Butterfly enthusiasts can be part of this program and raise them at home through Connect to Protect with Fairchild Garden. These Atala pupa here are going to approved homes where their food is ready for them. And they come um, glued onto popsicle sticks for easy transport. When it's time for the full grown adults to be released, it's quite an experience for the zoo visitors. It's actually a really big hit with kids. They love coming and because this butterfly is a slow flying butterfly, I'm able to just pick them up and put them into the kids' hands and they, you can see them that they get really excited for it. And it's nice to see something that is wild that you can be up close with. Carly Barnett, CBS4 News. CBS 4's Miami Proud is sponsored by FPL. At FPL, we're always planning, preparing, and investing in an energy future Florida can depend on. See how at fpl.com slash value.